Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a review and uh, what's in my bag with my Burberry Maidstone bag. So this is the bag. It's so beautiful. I love that it's all leather with a little bit of Burberry on the side. And quick story, I bought this bag pre-loved. Uh, I was just browsing at my mall. They opened up a new consignment shop and I was like, okay, let me go and see. And I went in there, looked around, and I saw this bag, and I felt instantly in love. I'm like, oh, my God, I must get this bag. And um, I paid, I felt like I paid way too much for it. I paid almost close to retail, and that time I didn't know it was close to retail. I bought it for like 780 something I think, or 770 something And then I was so happy. I was like, yes, this is the bag I need. I love it, because at the time, I sold my Neverfull MM in monogram with the pavone interior which is the dark pink so i had sold that so i was like you know what? another i need another bag to put my stuff and it was the right size this bag comes in two sizes i think small and medium and um this is the small so um long story short i bought the bag i think a month later or maybe a year later i don't remember when i saw the same exact bag at all fifth so I looked at the price tag and it was like either the same amount or maybe a hundred dollars more like eight something i think it was eight something nine something i forget and i was like are you kidding me i could have got bought a brand new bag for how much i paid for the used bag but what i could say is when i did buy this bag it was in pristine brand new condition no stain no smell it's like the person bought it and never used it so i kind of don't feel too bad but i kind of still do feel bad that i paid almost close to retail for a pre-loved bag all right this bag is all leather and the leather is very soft i love the way it feels on the front it says burberry it is um embossed into the leather at the bottom you'll see four feet this is the back of the bag which doesn't have the burberry um signature on there i like this bag because of these little zips it's on the front and then the back of the bag it gives it some character and that's like my favorite feature also the side of the bag closes with a button closure it pops out all the time so this feature to me doesn't really do anything because once you stuff the bag it doesn't stay snapped together it easily pops out but if you want to store it like that you can and when you open it up, it has a button closure, one button closure, no zipper or anything. Um, on here, it says Burberry, nothing on this side. And the inside, another thing that I love is that it has the whole Burberry um, design. I think this is so cute. It's very understated. I love this bag. In the back, you'll see Burberry tag right there and open up the zipper. And it's a very big, huge pocket in here. You can fit your whole hand in there. All right, and it has the little um, tag inside. I don't usually keep anything in the back of this back zipper. But if you want to, you can. On the other side, it has two pockets. This pocket is bigger than this pocket. Um, I put stuff in the pockets as well and just look how big it is. It fits so much. Like I said, before I got my Neverfull, I used this as my work bag and um, I absolutely love it. And I love how the inside has a different kind of leather texture or maybe it's the same. Actually, it says, no, is it? No, this is different. I feel like this is more rough and this is more smooth. I don't know. Anyway. What else? Uh, yeah, and also the tassels on here is very nice. It's very sturdy, thick leather. So this has a strap. Um, the only thing I don't like that this strap cannot come off, which is okay, but I wish it did. Also, this part, I did take it off because I thought, oh, I don't need this extra padding. But then when I did, the strap kind of dug in my shoulder. So I'm like, okay, I need to put this back on. So this protects your shoulder from having shoulder pain from the thin strap um i wish the strap was a little bit different but it is what it is i'm okay with it so i use this bag with the little shoulder padding 
Because if you don't, oh my God, it's very, very uncomfortable. Let's do the what's in my bag. So I'm going to try to put some stuff from here in here. I'm going to put my planner in the back. I bought this from the Dollar Tree. It is so cute. It was in the, I guess, back to school section. And I'm like a big kid. I love colors. I love pink. And I just put notes in there. I love this little colorful um, notepad. So that goes in the back like this. My uh, Never Full pouch where I put my cards. I think I can fit that in here. And let's see. Yes, I can. So that goes right there. Okay. My toilet sheet pouch 19. Does that fit? It, yes, it does. Okay. My mini pochette. I can put that in here in the largest pocket. I have my agenda mini agenda and my coin purse that could go let me see in the front and the round coin purse could go in front of that Ooh. all right key holder for my house keys i could put that in the little pocket in the front And that fits in. Key pouch. I could keep that in the front here. My uh, cord, AirPods, charger, all in here. I could put this on the side. Oh, I forgot to mention the side of this bag has the serial number on this leather tag. I don't know if you could see it forgot to mention that all right so I'm gonna put that over here on the side okay and what's left is my vitamins pouch which for some reason I keep forgetting to put in here when I'm done using it okay and the two pack of gums that I don't need well I need one not two I'll put one in here on the side. Well, I'll probably just put both. Why not? Okay. And there is nothing left in the Neverfull. It's a little dirty in the bottom, but I'm okay with it. I just hate bag organizers. And here I have this reusable um, bag from Gap. I can leave that in here. Or I can take it with. Why not? Because, you know, I just love to stuff my bags. And that goes in the back like it did in the Neverfull. All done. Every single item that was in this bag fits in here. So I'm going to put this down. This bag fits the same amount as Neverfull. It is very heavy. I can do some arm exercises right now. So, yes, this bag is everything. And this is a small this is not the medium size, so I'm so surprised it fits so much. Also, you cannot close the bag like this. It's too full. If we wanted to, we could take out, let's say, the agenda. No, not even the agenda book. Take this out. I could take everything out of here and put it in the bag. Let's just do that. Just for the sake of the video. So we'll take this out. And then let's see if we could close it. Well, we have to move this. Okay. And then try to close it. Eh, not really. This toilet tree makes it impossible to close. So let's take that out. Let's put these back in. It closes. Let's try to close it on the sides. closes on the side and in the middle 
that's without the toiletry 19 and without the pochette accessoire. So yeah, it's doable. And you can put it on your arm and it's not that heavy. All right, guys, thanks for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like. Please leave any comments you have down below. Don't forget to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. I have some cool links linked in the description box. Please check it out. I'm going to do a video on all my bag accessories, probably my next video. Um, and I'm going to explain what all those links in my description box is about. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye, guys.